What are you bringing me in here? Patrick, I thought that you said that uh, Dominic was going to make a full recovery without a transplant. Is that not true? No, that's true. His blood volume has been restored. There's no permanent damage to his kidneys. I expect him to make a full recovery. It must be a huge relief for you. Now you don't have to tell Sonny and Dominic, sorry, Dante, that they're father and son. I can tell by the look on your face that you disapprove of my decision. And you think I should tell Dante and Sonny that they're father and son, right? I'm not offended. It's okay. I got no regrets and I make no apologies. Okay, all the reasons that I had for making that decision, they still apply. And as long as there is no medical reason why I should give up this secret, I got no problem keeping it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and stick my nose in a place where it's clearly not wanted. Proceed at your own risk. As a father and son, I really wish that you would reconsider. Olivia, you dodged a bullet tonight. Next time, you might not be so lucky. Secrets of this magnitude have a tendency to blow up, and the longer you keep it, the bigger the fallout. It sounds like you're speaking from experience. My father cheated on my mother. And he had a son, and I only found out about it, well, about a year ago now. I was furious at my father for not saying anything, and I resented my brother for even existing. Wow. Well, look, I'm obviously in no position to speak for your father, but I can say from experience that I'm sure he wasn't trying to hurt you or your brother. He was probably trying to protect you both the same way I'm trying to protect my son. Okay, see, here's the thing. My kid's father isn't a plumber or a stockbroker. He happens to be a gangster. And I don't want that world to reach out and touch my son Olivia, in any way. It's a little late for that. Dante, in his dominant persona, is working for Sonny. They're already building a relationship, and it just grew by leaps and bounds because Dante jumped in front of a runaway car to save Morgan, ironically, his half-brother. Look, I have to trust that you're gonna do what you think is best, but this secret is gonna come out, and when it does, Dante and Sonny are both gonna feel betrayed. How's the envelope? Uh, not, not bad, considering. I heard you were in critical condition. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got bored with that. I'm serious, Dante, you okay, man? Yeah, I mean, I prefer not to have uh, internal injuries and, and battered kidneys, but door number two is, is a transplant, so I'll take what I got. <laughs> and what about the Corinthos boy that you played hero for? Yeah, car never touched them. I'm really sorry you got hurt. But you know, this could work for us. I mean, what a better way to earn Sonny's trust than, than saving his son and getting seriously injured in the process. We couldn't have planned this any better. We, we, we couldn't have planned this at all. No, this is your ticket right up the ranks. Uh, Mr. Morgan. To, uh, to I owe the honor. Uh, Jason Morgan, this is Ronnie Domestico, one of my associates from my time with the Zafaras. Pleased to meet you. Ronnie, I uh, thought I'd check up on my boy. I heard he'd been injured. I'm gonna leave you two alone. I uh, probably got some business to discuss. Hey, give me a buzz when they spring you from this joint. I'll buy you a beer. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hold you to that. I got a witness. <laughs> Take care. So how you doing? Uh, I'm, I've, I've been better. I've been worse. I owe you for what you did. Morgan could be dead if you hadn't jumped in front of that car. And the, anyone would have done that? No, I don't, I don't think so. You know, my grandfather was actually behind the wheel. Wow. Oh, let's talk about our conflict of interest. What happened? Did, it, did, it, did, it, did he fall asleep? Heart attack. Oh, man. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but I guess you can't really fault the guy if his ticker gave out. Yeah, something's a little off. I don't know, maybe I'm just uh, paranoid. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a common thing in this line of work. Yeah. Listen, if you, if you ever need anything in the future, don't hesitate to ask. That's a good marker. 
I appreciate it. But you have to realize I wasn't trying to ingratiate myself. I mean, not that I wouldn't have, uh, but I wasn't thinking that far ahead. No, I get it. Am I interrupting? Hey, right, come on in. It's an open house. Good. How are you doing? I'm keeping my kidneys, huh? which is better than it if you'd asked me an hour ago. That's good. I, I uh, need a word. Excuse us. The Carl Loyalists attacked again this afternoon. Yeah, Spinelli. He walked into an ambush. He'd have been shot if it hadn't been for the intervention of uh, John Zakara. He was shot for his trouble. What are you doing? Sitting up? Talking? You're supposed to be resting. Well, I'm resting. I'm lying in a bed, all right? What's going on in the world I mean, out there? I mean, other than my only child almost got killed today, isn't that enough? Jason was just here. It seemed like something heavy was going down. What the hell do I know about Sonny is Mary band of mobsters and what they do? Just you stop being a cop for one night, okay? Just take care of yourself, okay, and rest. You look tired, Ma. I can't even imagine how many wrinkles you just gave me today. Oh, don't even talk like that. Your face is as smooth as a baby's butt. <laughs> it's such a way with words. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to be serious here. Well, you're not doing a very good job. That's because you keep deflecting me. Well, because I don't want you to get upset, okay? Anything you've got to say to me, you can wait, all right? No. Not this. Look, I realize you went through hell tonight keeping quiet about being my mom. Not blowing my cover when, when you know that the only reason I'm here is to not only bust your ex flame Sonny, but to take down Johnny in the process. My presence here is costing you a lot. And I want you to know that I'm at least aware of that. Now, don't get all full of yourself here. I'm going to admit something. But please pay close attention because it won't happen very often. Well, this ought to be good. You were right about certain things. Okay. You care to elaborate on that? I knew you were going to say that. Okay. Maybe... Maybe I would really like to bail on this assignment. It's a little more difficult than I anticipated. Not the logistics of it, but the human factor. The more time I spend with Sonny, the more I'm beginning to like the guy. I didn't expect that, and, and please don't say I told you so. I didn't say a thing. Go on. I also, I like his kids. And Carly. And I do feel like a chump, smiling to their faces while behind the scenes I'm working to put Sonny in prison. All right. Wow. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, I can imagine that moving against targets that are, that are names on a mob chart is a lot different than being up close and personal with those people. I mean, the question is, what are you going to do now? My job, Ma. I have no choice now. No other cop has gotten as close. Hell, no other cop has gotten anywhere near the position that I'm in to stop the mob scourge in this town. That means Sonny, and that means the cars. If Sonny ever went to prison, it would break my heart. But on some level, I would know that um, that he was going there based on based on choices that he consciously made. I mean, Johnny's different. Johnny's like he never had a chance at any other kind of life. You know, his father made sure of that. It's not on me. 
to set Johnny aside. He's gonna fall with the rest of them.